All right, so in this video, uh, we're all done with our part. What we're going to do now is go ahead and create a drawing file. So this is the drawing file, our multi-view drawing file. Uh, it'll have these three views, as well as the shaded isometric, all of our dimensions, right? our uh, center holes, all that stuff there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So from here, we're all done with our part. So we're going to go ahead and right-click on part one and create drawing of part one. So we want to make this four views, and I don't want to have all the little title block and everything at the bottom, so I'm going to hit custom template, do not include, and do not include. And what this is going to do is make sure none of that annoying stuff is in there. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And should automatically create everything for me. Now, while it's loading, I'm going to go ahead and rename this. Part one drawing is a terrible name, so we'll call this our flange drawing. There, and that's proper name, so it sounds better. And you can see, uh, because I did not include all that title block and everything, I get all that extra space. So first, we got a little too much extra space, so I'm going to make this a one-to-one -one scale. So let's double-click on this outside and change this to one-to-one. -to -one. Much better. And let's get rid of those. We can. We'll just leave this one. That tells us scale one-to-one, -one, but I don't need it for all of them. All right, so uh, if we're looking over here, I need to make my isometric shaded. So we'll right click on it and go to show shaded view. And that should be about all I need to do with that. Perfect. All right, so next thing I want to do is go ahead and get my hidden lines and the center lines on these two pieces. So for the hidden lines, it's easy. Just right click, show hidden lines, right click, show hidden lines. And because these are circles, I'm going to go ahead and put center lines in. So the type of center line we want is the edge-to-edge -edge center line. So yours might be in a, a little drop-down, um, but that's our edge-to-edge -edge center line. And what we want to do is, so if we look at it, this kind of lines up with here. So this hidden line is actually this edge right here, that left side. So we want to get our center lines for this. So click there and there. Okay, and we'll get center lines for these two, and then on here. And again, we're using this right side because this edge right here is the side of that. And we'll do the same thing for over here. So we get the top, middle, and the bottom. So that one lines up with here. That one lines up with here. Good. So that should be all of our center lines and hidden lines. Good. It is. So it already put in our center lines for our or center marks for our circles over there which was very nice of it so we just need to get some dimensions so let's get our dimension tool and let's see we need all three of our circles so I'll go ahead and get the click on that line and over here and that's 0.25 this one's 0.25 this one's 0.25, just kind of organize them so they kind of look nice. You don't want it to look too sloppy. Uh, and then let's put the, the overall extrusion width on this, and that's 0.25 as well. Okay, so that shows us all of those holes. Um, we don't need to redo that um, be, uh, on any of the uh, other drawings because that would be redundant. So that gives us the width of all of those holes or the diameter. So uh, on this bottom left one, let's get the diameter of the bigger circles. So we'll click here on that, and on that, that gives us those. And then we just need, from the center point of our entire flange, to the center point of this circle, which is 1.125. And we're going to do that right there. And that should be it. So all right, there we go. That is the drawing file. So that's the two things that you need in your flange folder, the flange itself and the drawing file, and there we go.